up everybody welcome back to a beer a day with tk it's a dark monday evening the eagles uh ended this season with a loss to the washington football team um, some would say they threw the game at the end others would say they purposely tanked just to get better draft position um, either way i didn't think it was a particularly great performance it was sad to see the season end that way um, so i guess it's good i can have a beer and relax back at home um, today, the beer that I have is a new one. When I was on my way home from work today, I saw this at the shop. Uh, this is Hazy, H-A-Y-Z, um, from Muller Brew Barn. So I'm not sure. I guess this is kind of a play on Jay-Z, right? So Hazy. Um, when I looked it up, there were about 50 other breweries that had the same idea, I guess. There are multiple beers called Hazy. But this is a new one from um, Muller. And when I went to Untapped, it had 3.86, but there are only 135 check-ins. And Beer Advocate had nothing, no check-ins, no reviews, nothing whatsoever. Um, so with only 135 check-ins on Untapped, I'm guessing this has only been out a couple weeks, maybe at most. Uh, Muller Brew Barn is a brewery I'm quite familiar with. They have two locations. They have one in Troy, Ohio, and one in Maria Stein. A year or two ago, me and my wife went down to the Maria Stein one, which is literally a brew barn. Uh, it's kind of out in the middle of the country. There's a barn, go in and have some beer and some snacks. Uh, it was a really cool location, I quite enjoyed it. Um, and usually I drink their beers pretty regularly. Um, earlier in the year, I had an interesting situation. I purchased a six pack of the Oktoberfest from Muller Brew Barn. Um, and when I got home, it wasn't good. Now, you know, this is something I should know this by now, but one thing you should always do when you pick up beers is look for the date. For the most part, they'll have the date printed on the bottom of the can or somewhere else. Um, some beers can sit in the cellar for years and they improve, you know, flavor-wise. Some beers really don't. After, you know, kind of the, the best by date, they're, they're really not any good. Um, where this gets difficult is, you know, obviously a lot of breweries work through distributors and they kind of lose control over what the distributors do with the beer once they sell it to them. Um, I picked up a six pack right when all the Oktoberfests hit the shelf and it was at a local place that I buy beer all the time. So this had come out fresh with all the other new Oktoberfests and it was straight up bad. Um, I checked the date and it was a year old. So I wrote to the, I actually emailed the brewery to see what was going on and they were real cool. They handled it like professionals. Um, they said, no problem, bring it back, they'll replace it. They actually sent me a gift card as well. Um, so I think they handled it like you'd hope they would. Um, but the problem was, I guess, you know, once we kind of got to the, the bottom of it, it had been sitting at the distributors. It was some beer that should have gone back, um, but didn't. Somebody loaded it on the wrong truck and it wound up on the shelves. Um, you know, I know if you've been drinking craft beer long enough, you've probably done this before yourself. Um, you go somewhere, pick up some individual bottles or a six pack of something you hadn't seen. You get home and it tastes funky. Uh, not funky like this beer is funky and should taste like it's funky like this is bad. Um, and, you know, I, from time to time, I guess it does happen. Old beer sits on shelves. I've seen friends complaining about it on Untapped and Facebook. Um, so I guess it's something we should be more vigilant about, kind of pay attention to the dates to make sure you don't accidentally buy something that's out of date. But that was my experience. And again, I think Muller handled it wonderfully. Um, I emailed them. They emailed me back almost right away. Um, said no problem, sorted it out. I was thrilled with it. Continue to drink their beer and look forward to visiting the, the Troy site. Like I said, I've been to Maria Stein, but not the Troy one. So, um, Muller Brew Barn, this one's hazy. They do a couple of other beers that are really good. One is Wally Post Red, I quite like that. Um, it's named after Wally Post, if you remember, was a, a baseball player. He played for the Philadelphia Phillies, which is why I remember him. Uh, but he did play for the Cincinnati Reds, and he's from down by the Maria Stein area. So there's a beer named in honor of him. They have a Blackberry uh, Prairie Wheat. It's quite good. Uh, Dirt Track Kolsch, and a number of other things. So generally, they do pretty good on the beer. So I was happy to see a new one hit the shelves. So Hazy, first edition 2021. Uh, it says Hazy Pale Ale, Half Golden Malt, and Juicy Hops. On the bottom, it has all the different types of hops that are used. So we have Mosaic, Amarillo, Centennial, and Galena. Um, so, you know, quite a, a number of different hops that are used in there. Got a little blurb on the back here. While the general forecast for 2021 may be hazy, we know it will be full of flavor. Hey, I guess that's the best we can hope for, right? Let's give it a shot. Using the Sam Adams glass today. See what we got here. Hmm, not a bad pour. 
So we got that hazy. And it's definitely hazy. Um, if you look at the color, it's kind of golden, but it has kind of that, that orange uh, hue to it. Um, quite cloudy, kind of difficult to see through. Um, fair bit of carbonation. You can see it all around the bottom of the, the middle of the glass there. Head looks pretty nice. That's probably a good two fingers. Uh, looks nice and frothy. Honestly, looks quite silky. Smell. It's not a really a strong smell. I think you pick up a little bit of maybe grapefruit, maybe a little bit of uh, sweetness as well. Smells pretty good. Taste, um, medium bodied. Texture is actually quite nice. That's kind of like a silky texture to it. Um, tastes like a pale ale. <laughs> you know, not surprisingly, this is a, a New England IPA, I guess. Um, I would say it's not really that hoppy. It's kind of on the lower end of the hop scale, but it does have a nice hop taste. Um, I think you kind of pick up the, the citrus fruits, tropical fruits like you'd expect in something like this. So you kind of get the, you know, a little bit of the grapefruit, maybe a little bit of, of sweetness, like a, a melon sweetness. Um, and then you get the hop, you know, the hops. Well, I guess you get the hops kind of throughout it. It's funny, when you drink it, you can pick up the hop smell a little bit better than when you're just smelling it on your own. Maybe it's the combination of tasting it and smelling it. But yeah, um, this is pretty smooth. Um, I would say these things are, are pretty well balanced. It's probably not as, as hoppy as some might like, um, but I think that's a pretty decent taste to it. It's not, not a, a big bite. This is definitely a, a sessionable, nice, drinkable New England IPA. Um, but it's definitely something that I would, I would pick up again. Or uh, yeah, definitely something I would pick up again. Um, so this is the first edition, 2021, hazy, New England pale, New England style pale ale. Um, I, you know, I think it's good. I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Muller, I think you guys did a really good job with this. Um, look forward to trying new beers that you put out. I like your old ones. I like the ones you've been doing for a while, the steady rotation. But it's always cool to see what new things you put out as well. So, uh, Jay-Z, Hazy, Hazy, Pale Ale, you get the thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, if you have any comments or questions, um, please leave them below. Always happy to talk about beer. If you've had this, let me know what you think about it. Until the next time, throw up the rock. Cheers.